Oh, good lord, everyone. Good lord, welcome back. Welcome back to the podcast. Poker guy, he couldn't be with us here today because he's number one, not reliable. Um, number one, very not reliable. And number two, he has he doesn't have the integrity that he says he's going to have. Now, that, that bleeds into his reliability, right? When you tell somebody you're going to be somewhere, you're not there repeatedly. Hey, what are they going to come to expect from you? Sorry, buddy. I hope the waves are crispy, but uh, your audio is soggy and your commitment to this podcast and its listeners even soggier, even soggier. Uh, he he pulled like a Vontae Davis on us all. Let's be real. He looked around. And he said, you know what? I don't be a Buffalo Bill anymore. I don't want to show up on time. I don't want to do my job. This is not a Belichickian environment. You can just walk out. I was working one day <laughs> in my office and I. Uh, I work with a lot of women, very few men. Um, that's just the way it is, everybody. All right? I'm not saying that's good I'm de- <laughs> or it's bad, I'm, but I'm definitely not saying that it's good. All right, I'm not saying it's good or bad, but I'm definitely not not saying that it's good. Uh, but anyhow, this is a young lady at work, and we had this other lady that worked with us. She was young too, youngish, and she's a bit of a taskmaster. Right? <laughs> sort of taskmaster. Task? Master, I think that's the way it is. Sort of a the sort of person who is getting just fucking getting getting at you for whatever little thing you do. Like, yeah, you did this right, you didn't do that right. Like, and I was that lady's like superior, and there are a couple of times where she was talking to me, and I was like, "You're fucking lucky, you're not a dude right now, or you and me would be in the parking lot, right, with scrapes all over us, panting, fucking like no one really hurt." But like pride wounded, you know, after a very shitty fight, that's what we'd be doing right now if you fucking kept talking to me like that. But anyhow, so, <laughs> so uh, oh, Grinder, we'll call her, we'll call her Grinder, not to be confused with the homosexual dating app, everybody. Which I hear, I mean, I don't know. I heard it was sick from uh, my buddy like way back in two thousand and was that fourteen? He picked up some dude on Grinder. He's he's gay. Um, spoiler alert. Uh, I seem to like it, uh, but then I saw something that was in uh, on Reddit. There was some one of those like you know threads or something, and then somebody's like, "Oh, grind!" Somebody made a grinder joke, and then somebody started talking about how grinder sucks now. And then some people got in a real genuine conversation. It's weird the wormholes you can get into on the fucking internet uh, with these comment threads. Um, kind of like where I'm at right now. I don't know what the, f- <laughs> the fucking wormhole. I got into here. Um, hold up. Let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this real quick. I'm gonna back it up, and then uh, I'll I'll be I'll be back. That's right. I was t- I was talking about that girl crying on that other girl. Okay, good, good. Technology, technology. So anyhow, gr- old grinder and old uh, old leavesy pants. We'll call her that because she fucking leaves at the end of this, right? It's millennials these days. So this this girl's telling her like, hey, you need to clean this. And she's down there, and she's, like, you know, cleaning this thing in the office. This girl's 21. I've got to think her dad's got some money. She's never had any real consequences consequences in her life. So she just looks up. She just looks around and is like, you know what? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking out of here. And that's basically the same thing that Andrew Luck did to the Colts. I don't know what I was talking about before, but I got we, everybody's talking about this. Andrew Luck, he's retired. That's right. I was talking about poker guy. Yeah, mm, yeah. Andrew Luck and poker guy. How fitting. Two shocking pseudo retirements in the same weekend. All right. Uh, so Andrew Luck, he gets up, he looks around, he's like, ah, fucking sees Ryan, Gr- the ghost of Ryan Grigson on the walls. Sees Jim Mersey passed out, drunk in the corner, fucking two hookers on either side of him and says, you know what? I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be with you. I'm tired of getting my fucking head smashed in. I'm done. I got, you know, I got millions of dollars in the bank. I don't know how much money he made. (laughs) That was one of the first things. It's funny. You see that? I was watching the uh, Miami, uh, Miami Hurricanes shit their pants against the Florida Gators. We're going to get to that here in a little bit. But I was watching them shit their pants. And the video flashing on the screen like everybody else. It says, Adam Schefter, 
Shefty broke it. <laughs> Shefty, I will always think of you. This is huge. I think more highly of you. You got the scoop by six minutes. Um, but anyhow, I guess that means something to you. So congratulations. Shefty says that Andrew Lux retired. First thing I do is look on fucking spot track to see how much this dude's money this dude's made. And I'm like, okay. I bet a hundred million. Yeah, fucking I retired too. It says he wants to travel with his wife. He wants to be a human being and not get his head smashed in. He could take two years off, come back, play another four years, make another hundred million dollars, and then call it. I mean, that's gotta be the plan. If if you're gonna come back. Uh but this is poetic justice. I want to get into some of the layers on this. Maybe, I don't know who's going to be talking about what on Monday morning. Who's talking about what on Twitter. But I got some I got some theories on this. And basically, uh, if if poker guy were here, if you were the type of guy that would fucking show up for stuff, if you were that sort of dude, um, he would. we'd probably go back to conversations we've had about some of the 7D level chess that's being played. By the New England Patriots. I'm not saying. All right, I'm just. There's some dots out there. All right. If you want to connect them, you can connect them. Dot number one. All right. Deflate gate. It all starts there for me. All right. Whether it's real or not, hey, I believe that PV equals NRT. I'm in that crowd. All right. I'm not a New England truther. I'm not from Boston. I don't think The Town's the greatest fucking movie in the world. It is a sick it is a sick movie, though. I'll be honest. I just watched that the other day. Um, a super sick movie. Um, but I'm not a Boston truther. So, but that Deflategate stuff, I'm on the Patriots side there. <laughs> I'll say the guy, the guy like uh, zipping into the bathroom and, and him being the deflator. Because <laughs> there's, there's some, uh, you know, there's, there's a little bit of smoke there. All right, there's a little bit of smoke uh, with that. Uh, the, the whole Tom Brady not wanting to give Roger Goodell a cell phone. You can suck my dick on that one. Uh, your wife's Giselle, okay? And you want Roger Goodell to have your cell phone? Not me. Not me. Uh, so dot number one, just a dot floating out there somewhere in the world. There's six dimensions, right? Six dimensions of, of freedom, you know, where are we at in space and then what direction are we rotating, all that good stuff. And here's the deal. It's called chirality. <laughs> Look it up. That's why we are the way they are. Biological diversity. Handedness. But anyhow, dot number two, floating around in there, old Bobby Kraft. <laughs> all right, Bobby Kraft. All right. Bob Kraft has so much of his fucking brain dedicated to the destruction of the Indianapolis Colts. He can't fucking take it. He just can't take it. He gets so goddamn stressed out. He's got. He's got to just. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. So he heads down to the old strip mall. We all, we all know the rest at that point, right? Here comes old. <laughs> what's his name? Old Bobby. What's his name? Not Robert Kraft, but old Bobby. Bobby somebody. He ain't Robert Kraft today. Uh, he's having fun, buying pretzels and annies and getting tug jobs. That's how fucking stressed out he is because every little bit of his brain, every little fucking neuron firing in there, it's all dedicated to crunching the souls of everybody in the state of Indiana. <laughs> hey, easy to do. Check. Done. You live in Indiana. Already done. Uh, <laughs> sorry, dude. Indiana fucking sucks. Sucks. Pacers suck. Colts suck, super suck now, like super suck now. Uh, do you have a baseball team? Any baseball teams in Indiana? I don't know. I don't think so. You don't even have a fucking baseball team. So, suck. Anyhow, old Bob Kraft, dot number two. All right. That explains it. Like, that explains why he's slipping and he's getting caught on camera doing whatever he's doing. We won't know because he's got some bomb ass lawyers. Who have kept that tape from our eyes. Good on them. Get their names if I ever fall in any sort of fucking situation where someone's got a tape of me doing something. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a tug job guy. Not a tug job guy. <laughs> and I'm uh, just going to push past that. I do know some that have, have been. I was in the Marine Corps, all right? So fucking, hey, it's. I know people that have fucking been in those places and. You know, for better or for worse. 
Now they made it out the other side. Um. <laughs> oh God, you get into the human trafficking part of that, and it just gets dark. <laughs> it gets dark. So let's go ahead and move off of that. Let's move off of that. Uh, so this is number dot. That's dot number two floating around in there. Dot number three, and for me, the real smoking gun here <laughs> has to be Josh McDaniels, right? Like this has like this has. Oh my God! This brings it up. It brings it back, and you just wonder, like, what the fuck? He knew when he knew it. I mean, did he get there? Did somebody tell him? Like, as soon as he kind of gets closer to this, is it was it all Belichick? That's what I'm saying. Like him skipping out on Indianapolis. Was it all fucking Belichick doing something in a dark room and being, Josh, we need you to. You know, do what's best for the team. You know, stick around. You know, do your job. Like, I mean, is it all that? You know, here's an extra five hundred grand a year, and your kids don't have to move. I get that, but is it also? And then you get in the building, and then you start hearing some weird fucking shit about Andrew Luck, and you're like, dude, this guy's like really down. He's super down. He's bummed. He's losing his fucking hair. He's losing the fuck out of his hair. All right, I get it. That had me bummed out, too. I don't wonder how much of this retirement has to do with Andrew Luck losing his hair. I mean, you look in the mirror. You're like, God damn, my fucking leg's falling off. You can barely throw a football anymore. Bald as shit. The best thing about me is a Twitter account that pretends I'm a Civil War general. <laughs> Check that out. I wonder what fucking Captain Andrew Luck's got on Twitter today. <laughs> guy Andrew Luck, that guy's a real fucking. That guy's the that Twitter account is getting so much steam. That guy was so funny, and now Andrew Luck just fucking stole his livelihood. He put that fucking guy. The guy's probably like a lawyer or something. Passed the bar, went in. You know, he's making six figures out of selling uh you know, Andrew Luck squirrel oil t-shirts. <laughs> and then he wakes up this morning. <laughs> it's gone. It's fucking gone. I mean, what does he do? Is it is it Captain, you know, I don't even know who <laughs> could pull that off. What does he do? What does he pivot into? Oh, my God. That poor motherfucker. He was too funny, too. He was so funny. And now this morning... I just, what is he doing? Walking around. Just cursing Andrew Luck's fucking name. Just like all those fans. So it gets out that Andrew Luck's retiring. And uh, people are pissed. <laughs> They're fucking pissed somehow. So Shefty manages to leak it during a Colts game. And they boot him off the field. They boot him off the field. And Andrew Luck, he, he says, ah, it hurt. It hurt. Well, fuck you, bro. I mean... Do whatever you want. Take your millions of dollars and cruise around, you know, whatever tropical islands with your wife. Have a good time. I support that. As somebody who doesn't give a shit about the cults, I think it's hilarious. I absolutely do. This is like just when you thought it couldn't get any funnier. Like when Josh McDaniels did what he did, that was fucking hilarious. But then it turns out all out of nowhere i mean not out of nowhere and this is no diss against frank reich but like out of nowhere that dude can coach <laughs> like it's like oh my god we may have actually gotten like lucky here you know maybe mcdaniels comes in he's another belichick guy can't do anything outside of belichick you know that story unfolds again and then you know three years from now josh crawls back to new england yet again right maybe that's how it goes or oh my god we got frank right we, we won Nine out of ten games at the end, or whatever they did at the end of last year. I think they were what, one and five. They made the playoffs. <laughs> so, yeah, right, we granted we got pants. <laughs> you know, we, we got fucking pants in front of the whole NFL. We got staff here we don't want. You know, we're firing people, this and that. But guess what? We got a baller ass general manager, Chris Ballard. Ballard, I think that's his name. He knows what he's doing. He has some good draft picks, moves up and down the draft board. Seems to, He's the anti-Grigson. You know, Grigson just moved out of the building. His dark shadow uh, it seemed to be lifting just a little bit. Cap's under control. <laughs> and then 
<laughs> and then fucking Andrew Long retires a week before Labor Day. Uh, and then I just read on ESPN. That's I think that's what I was laughing about uh, when I started this. He's keeping all the money, too. Uh, he's not – sources, Colts won't recoup money from luck. So this is from Shefty. And he says basically he's got $24 million of a signing bonus that they could come after, but they're not. I got to think that some of this has to do with the medical like mistreatment of his injuries and all this sort of stuff. That they don't want to look like assholes if he sues them or, or whatever it might be. It may seem like a lot of money. It is a lot of money. No, don't get me wrong. For anybody, it's a lot of money. Uh, but as uh, Jim Irsay points out, I don't. And here's the thing: at this point, I don't know what's in Jim Irsay's system when he's talking. So don't fucking quote him, uh, like Shefty does here. But it's a tough thing. Look, he's he's leaving four hundred and fifty million dollars on the table potentially. Uh, Irsay said. I mean, half a billion dollars, and he's saying, you know what? I want to have my integrity. I have to be able to look at uh, T.Y. Hilton in the eye, look my teammates, look coach, look Chris, and say, hey, I'm all in. And he just didn't feel he could do that. Oh, yeah, I get it. Like, but could you like, do that fucking any time before today? This He is, Andrew Luck just pulled the wedding singer, the wedding singer stand up, stand your, Adam Sandler up at the wedding. Okay, Andrew, cool, got it. Something you could have told me yesterday, really. Because uh, how many people could have really fucking known and it not have really gotten out there? Not that many, right? Maybe Reich, Ballard, Nurse, those three people. I mean, is he having conversations with them? Because you, you get it much beyond that. We're hearing about this because you're hearing now, you hear, oh, yeah, there were rumors about this, you know, way back when. Look at that. There weren't rumors about this way back when. We would have heard him. <laughs> he fucking, during the first college football game of the year, he stole the whole weekend and retired. It, no one cares. No one cares about Florida beating Miami. No one ever was going to care about Arizona losing to Hawaii. Fuck. Well, let's just do it. All right, well, then here's here's the fourth dot floating around there. Jacoby Brissett, where'd he come from? That's right, New England. Just saying. We got ourselves a homeland situation, people. It's happening in New England. Wake up, sheeple. Wake up. All right? Wake up. College football. Let's get to it. Oh, my God. All right, well, let's start here. So if poker guy were on the the podcast, if you were the type of guy who would show up to podcast, like one of the things we'd be talking about is how cool it was. There's two games yesterday, one involving his alma mater, one involving mine. But you know we're not gonna do that right now. So you know we're just gonna you know fucking go on by ourselves, asshole. <laughs> so. Uh, all right, so Florida, Florida played Miami. They got kicked up. And here's the thing that I'm already tired of. I'm two games into this. I can't imagine how tired I'm going to be with it at the end of next weekend. And then by the end of the football season, okay, everybody, if you didn't know it yet, I'm going to tell you, and you're not going to fucking forget it after this. It's 150th year of college football. All right, they're playing all sorts of montages. If you're watching a CBS game, they're going to play heavy you know, SEC highlights because that's the shit they own. But there's going to be a lot of sort of my, you know, one shining moment bullshit before every goddamn game you can watch this first week of the year. So if you're not tired of it already, prepare to get tired of that. I am already tired of it. So Florida came out, they beat Miami. Miami looked terrible. Uh, they don't. They don't know how to not commit turnovers. The turnover chain is looking sick, though. Uh, <laughs> like on the ticker, you know, the ticker they usually have score updates. So they're gonna say, you know, uh, Miami looking to rebound from you know four, you know, four and four ending of, of 2018 season. What they got is turnover chain now, uh, now adorned with the 305 area code, uh, which is the Miami Dade County area code. For those of you who aren't from the 305. So <laughs> that's literally on the ticker. 
Um, I'm not saying that's good or bad. I mean, it, you know, it just <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's worthy of the ticker. I can see that. I'm watching the game when the turnover happens. I'll see him with the chain. I'll see the 305. They'll do the team picture pose. I'll grow tired of it and wish they do something more creative, right? Turnover chain's pretty sick. I, I, I dig the 305 edition. Don't need it on my ticker. Don't need it on there. Uh, if you didn't see Michael Irvin all coked up, I'm not saying he was coked up. I did say he was coked. I didn't mean that, though. Re retract. I'm printing a retraction right now. All psyched up. <laughs> all jacked up. All really, really, really wired up in an intense way, an incoherent way <laughs> before the football game. Look that up on Twitter. Look it up on your favorite um, meme providing website. You're going to enjoy that. He went ape shit before the game, screaming like a madman. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we all knew he would probably come looking a fool. He knew he'd probably come off looking a fool, but it happened anyway. That's pretty much it on that game. Miami looked uh, just terrible at the end. Florida did everything they could. There were three pass interferences on the potential game-winning drive, one on fourth and 30 or something like that. That just grabs him. And uh, But Miami, it's never coming back. I think they they might be – I mean, who are the, the real it's never coming back teams? Like Nebraska. Right, guys, it's it's never coming back. The glory days, they ain't coming back. Miami, dude, they ain't coming back. I just feel like they ain't coming back. Right, the university is small, private school. It's the city of Miami, but man, how do you recruit somebody once they've been in LSU's campus or Alabama's or Clemson or like, man, fuck that. Who the fuck want to go to Miami? Yeah, the beach is down there. That's chill, but. There's literally 20,000 chicks right here. I don't need to go to the beach to find chicks. They're all right here on campus, right? So, oh, Miami, I play in this crumbling shit house. Or here, I play in this palace, and, you know, there's Xbox in my locker. I got a Switch. I got a Switch in the shitter. <laughs> it's pretty dope. So I can get, my, I can get faded up over here. Uh, Rut's Cuts. The guy's name's Rut. Uh, that's why it's called Rut's Cuts. Uh, his real name is Rutledge, but we call him Rut for short. Uh, so that's, that's why it's named Rut's Cuts. So I can go to Rut's Cuts. I can do all of that. I don't need to go to Miami. I think they're on the, uh, man, it ain't coming back team. Nebraska, Miami, Oklahoma, they're good. I mean, Texas, they could come back, right? They could come back. Penn State. Penn State's another one. They're on the, man, it ain't coming back team. It's just not. Like, you're, you're never... I mean, it depends, it depends what you're looking to come back. And I, you know, I mean, it's, it's a higher chance that you get another fucking serial rapist on your coaching staff than there is that you get another legendary fucking football rod. So I don't think you want it to come back. You just want new days. And new days are different from old days. Which, by the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about Joe Paterno here at the end of this. When I get into the dark side of the... Uh, <laughs> What's that guy's name? Epstein? Yeah. Ever talk about him? Yeah, I don't think I forgot about you, Jeff. Yeah, if you want to download my podcast because you're sure fucking not dead. I don't know, he's not dead. If you're one of these people out there think he's dead, I feel I feel sorry for you. I do. Well, I'm going to help turn that around here in a little bit. So let's go on to the other game of the week. God damn it. My Arizona Wildcats. Like football season's back. That feel that feels good. I mean everything everything feels like it should this morning. Because we got our fucking asses kicked last night. Kevin Sumlin, oh man. Our our fucking university is the Golden Parachute University. It's a it's for all the guys that won a little bit game somewhere, went to a big job and shit their pants. And then we think that they can do their, like, first thing again. So we give them their last big paycheck. And then after the world, we're aware the world finds out that you're a fraud. And right now, Kevin, some of the world is finding out exactly what a fraud you are. In two ways. I mean, Jimbo Fisher is surpassing everything you did at that university. Going to happen pretty fucking quick. Yeah, Johnny Manziel, and that's it. Like, the guy's a lump of coal. 
like just sitting there expressionless. I get it. Like, I mean, it's better. It's better than what what Rodriguez was doing, and it's damn sure better than what Mike Stoops was doing. I don't know what Mike Stoops is doing this summer. I hope it's not fucking coaching football, though. I really do. He needs to not be coaching football anymore. Not college football. I hope Mike Stoops is coaching a high school football team somewhere this year and that their, and that their defense is at least in the middle of their conference. That would be a lofty expectations for a Stoops co- Mike Stoops coach defense of any level. But so we're going to have 14 nothing. Okay, good. They got a quarterback who is a self – he calls himself a Howley. So it's Hawaii. We're playing Hawaii, Arizona versus Hawaii. And the announcer is doing that weird thing where when white people say something of ethnic origin, they try and always give it the extra ethnic pronunciation. So instead of saying Hawaii, he says Hawaii. <laughs> it's <like> Hawaii. <laughs> whatever. Hawaii. Or whatever it is. Hawaii. Some weird thing going on at the end of it, which I guess if you're from there, you, you can pronounce or, you know, or when people are rolling their R's excessively, <laughs> like, uh, Mr. Ramos, <laughs> it's like, dude, you're from Iowa, just say Ramos, man, like, I get it, his name is actually Ramos, but just say Ramos, right, Ramos, Ramos, you say tomato, I say tomato, whatever it may be, you get the point, like, I don't need it. I don't need that. Just say Hawaii. All right? Not Hawaii. Planetarium. Like, just say planetarium. Don't say planetarium. All right, so the guys from Hawaii were kicking the shit out of us. They got a, a white dude who's got dreadlocks. I'm not saying that you can't be a white guy with dreadlocks. I'm not saying it's cultural appropriation. I'm just saying it doesn't work on everybody. It didn't work on this guy. And it really didn't work on him when he threw his fourth interception of the day. So we got beat. I think it was 42-35. I don't know what the final was. I did have the over. So that was the one good thing that came out of this. It was the only bet I placed all weekend. So they did hit the over. I can't remember what it was, but it was an easy over. Um, I saw somebody on Twitter. They were like, oh, man, I like the under. I don't know how Hawaii is going to score four touchdowns. And then as soon as I saw that, I was like, that's an automatic over. Like, they'll, I don't know a team that can't score four touchdowns on our squad. Because here's the deal. I don't know what's going on. In Oregon, they can, everywhere in the fucking Pac-12, they got these dudes. But we do not have one fucking dude on our defensive line that is more than 300 pounds. It's all these white dudes that are like like linebackers. They're like 248. It's like, oh, man. Did you see Walters? Yeah, he really packed it on this summer. He's at like he's at like 253. We're going to put him at nose. You know, we're going to have him lining up at nose uh, so we can get fucking steamrolled by everybody. It, it's, it's crazy. And then we got like maybe one or two dudes that are around 300 pounds. But they all look like fuck. They're not Haloti Nadas. They're not. They're, they're like Haloti Nada's fucking pudgy little cousin who is like really great at Dance Dance Revolution, but not damn that, not good at football. And let's well, just get fucking old real quick. I mean, I'm already like out. I mean, I'm already like, so here's a sequence from, this is a mind blowing sequence during the game. We're lined up for a 38 yard field goal. Okay, so I'm, and you know, I'm thinking about Josh, Josh's dad, how much I fucking hate both of them, the choking history of our kickers, the legendary, even the announcers were calling us, they said it was a fucking atrocious, and when they did that, I was damn near pause my TV to quote them so I could at Josh and fucking at his dad, like, as a, I told you motherfuckers, I told you motherfuckers. (laughs) <laughs> but so I hope you were watching Josh. I hope you were. I hope you were watching Josh's dad. Fuck you both. Um, that was a choke job, by the way. You ruined Thanksgiving for everybody in Tucson. Now, 38 yards out, our fucking brilliant head coach, uh, Kevin, Sir Kevin. I think he was actually knighted uh, over the summertime by the Queen for his accomplishments 
and not being able to field the fucking uh, useful defense, competent special teams, or reliable offense. He comes out and he just lets the fucking clock run out. Okay, cool. Delay a game. All right, 43 yards now. Our kicker nailed that kick too. Snap it again. All right, we're hitting a 48. I don't even know. I, two false starts. Then we rack up two false starts. Ten more. Finally end up kicking a 53-yard field goal. And holy shit, it went in. That whole sequence was like, all right, classic, classic, classic. Oh, my God. Can't we went in. So we're down seven. Here we go. <coughs> the only thing that's got to happen now is for Khalil Tate to make one pass this entire game. Oh, no. You can't do that. Fuck. That guy's bad. Khalil Tate. He's doing two things. He's, he's not hitting the broad side of a barn. And he's running fucking scared. Prancing around. It was the first down or two he should have got. He didn't. And then the end of the game. He gets loose. Run into the end zone. Oh, it's thrilling for everybody but the Wildcats fans. Because we all know how this is going to end. I think he could have fucking made it. He could have made it. He could have made it. Like, I couldn't have made it. All right? I'm not saying that I could have made it. But he could have made it. And he fucking didn't. He fucking didn't. And that's just, that's just it. That's, that's us. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. It's poker guy. Here we go. Poker guy. Shroud. Uh, I'm roasting you right now. I'm recording live. All right. Yeah. You're at home? I'm not at home. Hey, do whatever you have to do, though, but you're going to do a second one tonight, and I want to participate. We'll see, man. I'm roasting. I'm, I'm roasting you pretty fucking hard right now. So we'll. I will, we'll yeah, yeah. Your unreliability. Your unreliability is. Uh, is really. Uh, is really. I'm coming after it. So, you text me a time. You text me a time. You just text me right now. Text me a fucking. Text me a goddamn time where you're gonna. You're gonna fucking do this. I'll go through all the sports shit right now. And then when there's no second half of the podcast, everybody will know why, right? All right cool. They'll know why. So, so text me a time right now. All right, All right I'm gonna, I'm gonna Bye. be watching it. I'm recording here. I'm gonna call your ass out. Fucking. So there we go. There's poker guy. And uh, 64 minutes late. 64 minutes late. Mm-hmm. I know. His, his time doesn't. My time doesn't mean anything to him. Fucking motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, everybody. I was going to do a whole pod. Oh, let's see. Oh, he did text me. Oh, he did text me. Let's open that up. Let's, oh, he just says you're an asshole. Okay. Okay. I'm asking what time he wants to pod. Tell me what pod. I'm down. All right, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. That guy. Let's go. All right, well, what are we doing here? That's right. So, anyhow, Arizona. It sucks being an Arizona fan. Uh, it just it just does. Thank you. I'm down. I'm down. Um, all right. Try it. Okay, it says 8 Eastern. Okay. 8 Eastern it is. All right. We will see. Ah, uh, we'll see. We'll see, dude. I'm rooting for you, son. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, we're going to see. I, I don't... Here's all this stuff... All right, well, I got... I'm going to get uh, the NFL preseason fixed here. I'm going to get that all fixed. And then I got a whole bunch of stuff here. I got a whole fucking... I got a whole bunch of stuff. Let me fix the NFL preseason. And then uh, I'm going to I'm gonna pause this. <laughs> all right, he says he's not going to clean his room. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Here, I'm going to fix the NFL. There's a lot of people that... Uh, that are enraged. How do we fix the NFL preseason? You can't, number one. 
All right, number one. Uh, so I'm doing something that can't be done. I don't like that. I'm not going to fix it. I'm going to augment it slightly. And then i got a couple other NFL suggestions here that I think are just common goddamn sense that aren't going to change the game. Number one, uh, before I even get going on that, this new pass interference thing seems like it sucks. I haven't watched enough preseason to really care, give a shit, or anything like that, but I'm a red zone guy, so I just hope that they're on and off of these plays, that the producers at red zone, I'm calling you out right now, Scott Hansen, in your meetings, you better be, uh, you better tell these fuckers that we don't want to be staying on these pass interference things. I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch these fucking replays. They're not interesting to me. Give me the results. Give me the complaints. We'll go on from there. Preseason. Four games. Let's just move it to three. All right. So the first game, Scrub City. All right. You're just, you're throwing people out there. You just want to get your guys in their uniforms, feeling good, you know, stretch out a little bit, have Aaron Rodgers play catch with Devontae Adams. On the football field. Ah, feels good. Fall's coming. Can't wait to get going here in a few weeks. And then have a bunch of turds you never heard of smash their heads up. Good. Done. Game number two. There's only going to be three weeks. We're going to take one week off. Game number two, that's your dress rehearsal. Here's the deal, though. It's a dress rehearsal for everybody. All right? Dress rehearsal for everybody. We're playing all these games. It's not scattershot shit. We're playing all these games in the time slots. We're going to play the regular season games. And we're running red zone. All right. We're running the red zone channel that week. Okay. Because here's the deal. Is it going to be like, you know, is it going to be red zone, red zone? No. But they're going to be able to bounce back and forth between these games and keep them interesting. Keep them watchable. All right. I mean, are you out? Are you out of red zone at halftime of the first set of games? For sure, for sure. But it gives them a chance to get you know get their cameras and all that sort of stuff going. That's a dress rehearsal for everybody. Third game, uh, third squads again, right? Scrub City, and let's just get it over with. I like the way they played on Thursday, and we go from there. Two suggestions for the regular season. We don't need extra games. We just need an extra buy. An extra buy, number one, gets us an extra week. Right now, we play 16 games in 17 weeks. Play 16 games in 18 weeks. Everybody gets a buy before the Thursday night game. All the complaints go away there. Team show pumped up. People are ready to rock and roll. It's more of an event. People aren't bitching as much. I just solved your Thursday night problem, your buy problem, all that sort of stuff. Don't even have to move the Super Bowl because we're getting rid of the motherfucking bye week before the Super Bowl. Hate it. Always hated it. It's bullshit. I don't want it. I don't want it. It's the playoffs, right? The playoffs should be an accumulation of the advantages that you've gained throughout the regular season. Let's say we get the AFC Championship game, the NFC Championship game. New England is hosting, ah, what, Kansas City, I would say Pittsburgh, but come on, guys. We know you're going to get knocked out of the playoffs a little earlier than that. So New England's hosting Kansas City again. New England's the host. All right, Super Bowl's in Dallas. Make it easy. Uh, Dallas is definitely not playing there. So then it's Eagles versus fucking whoever. You know, uh, and you know, uh, who would the Eagles play? The Vikings, right? Let's have them play the Vikings. So Eagles play the Vikings, but they got they got a road game. So both teams win, but Philly has to travel back and forth, and they're like, oh man, it's not fucking fair. It's not supposed to be fair. You should have had a better seed, then you'd have had the home game, and then you'd have an advantage. Those little advantages that you build up throughout the games, throughout the playoffs, and all that sort of stuff, like those should carry over into the Super Bowl. That's what pisses me off about that bike. And then let's just get it over with. It's already over. That's like I'm waiting for an execution. Like, just do it. Get it over with. Kind of like this podcast. Let me get it over with here. But here's what we got to look forward to not discussing with Poker Guy. When he uh, doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't show up at 8 p.m. Eastern time. That's what is that? Four hours and 50 minutes from now. I'm gonna edit, post, release this podcast, text him to fucking listen to it, and then we'll see. <laughs> All right, we'll see. We'll see. Here's what we're gonna be not talking to him about though. So I got a segment called "This Is Us." Um, 
where I'm going to read uh, from Us Weekly. I got a really something really fucking twisted here that I'm hoping I'm hoping he's available to discuss. All right, and we got it here. Uh, oh, Jeffrey Epstein. We haven't gone over that yet, people. He ain't fucking dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. And then Prince Andrew, that guy, he's a pedophile. And the queen is a Joe Paterno of England. Stay tuned, everybody. Um, by the way, I got to go over how much Aquaman sucked. If you haven't seen that, don't, don't, don't.